the testimony of the Lord make it sure and it make it wise the simple praise God Psalm 30 is saying I will exalt thee O Lord for thou had lift me up and had not made my folks to rejoice over me O Lord my God I cry unto thee and thou had healed me O Lord thou had brought up my soul from the grave thou had keep me alive that I should not go down to the pit praise God so when you are down there in the pit and God take you up out of it then therefore you always have a testimony for the testimony make you wise and your testimony will also help somebody else when they hear it so that they can come up out of anything that they are in yes just a little testimony about myself now i was in the world i used to love partying every weekend i got to got my hair done i have to get my hair style every week new dress new shoes yes everything so if you are out there and you feel like you have gone far and you cannot serve god he will if you make your mind up to be safe you will be safe yeah you will be in the world but you are not of the world you don't look like the world you walk because god would have you as a light in this dark world of sin so i was there and i was working in the craft market dealing with a lot of tourists having a lot of us dollars white people used to love me love me when they see me they always admire me they always ask me a lot of things and so on so i was there going my own way doing my own thing until one day a lady invite me to church that sunday i went to church minding my own business natural like anybody else never know nothing about the spirit of god until one day that that sunday the lady sing and when she sing i noticed something move in my body and i could just get up and said hallelujah and i feel different my whole body was different then a couple months after that, I pastor asked me if I want to be baptized. I baptized, yes. And when I baptized, they was preaching about the Spirit of God, yes. After I baptized, I noticed the things that I used to pray for, the things that I used to do. I do not have any desire for it anymore. I just want to read my Bible, go and pray and fasting, all who I did have things with I walk and I greet them talk to them make it right make it right so this the word of God said without the Holy Spirit you are none of peace so while I was there the scripture was pre preach the word of God preach and the pastor said without the Holy Spirit you are none of it so I begin to ask God about the Spirit of God and began to seek more about the Spirit now if you look in Romans 8 verse 14 romans earth verse 14 said for as many as are led by the spirit of god they are the son of god praise god the eighth verse is saying so then they that are in the flesh cannot please god so you have two sides you have the fleshy side and you have the spiritual side we know more about the more about the natural side because we were born into a natural world but we don't know about spiritual things the spiritual things is the spirit spiritual side of you is to lead you to all truth is to take you from darkness into marvelous light it to give you wisdom give you knowledge give you understanding give you love give you joy give you peace yes so it said for to be carnal mind is death but to be spiritual minded is life and peace because the carnal mind is empty against god for it is not subject to the law of god neither indeed can be so then they are that are in the flesh cannot please god so i was there and i sought the lord i sought the lord i cry i pray out until one day i feel 
my old body like it was electrocuted hallelujah and i speak a different language and out of that different languages praise god i become a new person walking for god living until this day so if you are out there and you know about the natural side without the spirit of god you are none of his romans 9 8 8 verse 8 he's saying so then they are on are in the flesh cannot please god so if you are in the flesh you will seek for the material things of this life you will want to know more about to please yourself and not the spirit of god the spirit of god desired the word of god prayer and fasting and to be a set apart person the 10th verse of Romans 8 is saying, And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. So the spirit of God cannot live in you if you are a, a person that entertains sin. You have to live in righteousness. And righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. But if the Spirit of God that rise up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that rise up Christ from the dead shall also quicken. So you must have this quickening spirit. Quicken it your mortal body, this Christ that dwell in you. So you must have this quickening spirit that whatsoever you go through in life, whatsoever you undergo, the Spirit of God will resurrect you from what condition it is because the spirit of god is the anointing and the anointing break the yoke and he set the captive free so therefore brethren we are a debtor not to the flesh to live after the flesh so it's not a must that you live after the flesh you have to live and abide by the spirit of god the spirit of god he said for if you live after the flesh you shall die but if you through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body you shall live so if you walk in the flesh you shall die not mean die and bury you know. you you're walking dead without christ you're walking dead without christ that means you will not have a conscience to to see when you do the things that is wrong or the things that is right so when you have the spirit of god it remind your spirit and it refresh you and it will make you happy it will make you peaceful and it will make you joyful for as many that are led by the spirit of god they are the sons of god for we are not received the spirit of bondage against to fear but we have received the spirit of adoption thereby we cry our father so the spirit of god wherever the spirit of god is there is liberty you cannot you cannot be free except the spirit of god set you free all completely you have no fear you see like how some people fearful of things and fearful of this and fearful once you have the spirit of god you have no fear praise god you receive a spirit that would say have a problem you are going to you can always call upon abba father you know that you have a father that you can call to you can depend upon him he will take care of whatsoever situation that you are going through he, you call upon him when you have your bills to take care of and god will supply your needs or call you to which is in glory you are not left by yourself you always have this father that you can lean on him although you don't see him but his present hallelujah will always be with you for we have not received the spirit of bondage therefore when you have the spirit of god is in within you you cannot go in bondage it's like praise god what happened in this nation the other day there was a spirit of fear there was a spirit of bondage although you don't have on the chain on your hand and your feet but you could feel that you were shut into a box but the spirit of god is in the world today and that's why people have been free hallelujah to march peacefully hallelujah to stand up for their right peace and because the spirit of god give their liberty hallelujah and when you have the spirit of god no one can shut you in no one can shut you down no one can keep you quiet hallelujah once you do it the right way the truthful way god will have your back hallelujah because we we call unto him we cry to him hallelujah and we say have a father the spirit it's here bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of god so if you said you are a christian and you're still living the same old way you tell lie 
teeth and do all kind of things, praise be to God, and you say you still go to church, then therefore you don't have the Spirit of God in you. You have another spirit. Because the Bible tells you in Ephesians that these are the spirit that is now working in the children of disobedience. So you have all kind of spirit, and that's why the Bible said, try the spirit, whatever if of God or not. Praise be to God. Praise the Lord Jesus. The Bible said in Romans 8, verse 17, and if and if children they are hears, hears of God and joint hears with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. So once you are in Christ, praise be to God, it's a suffering. Praise God. It's not everybody going to like you. It's not everybody going to speak good about you. Someday you will be happy and another day you will be sad. And therefore the Bible says, come from amongst them, be separated, touch not, hunger not, taste not. Praise God. So therefore you are going to suffer. Once you'll be called by the name of Jesus Christ, you will be su suffering. You will have sleepless night. People tell story on you. People abuse you. People call you all kind of name. Praise be to God. But Jesus Jesus, the Bible said, we are here of his kingdom. Here, praise God. And I know you know the meaning of here. You are here of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. You are not a rejection. You are not a custom. Therefore, God will glorify you. And he said, we shall glorify together. Wherever you be in China, you are in England, you are in America, you are in Jamaica, you are in Africa. Anywhere you are, you will be glorified because you will have on the whole arm of God withstand against the evil one praise be to God because we are here of the kingdom of God for I reckon that the suffering of this present times are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealing us so it's not a man revelation it's not a man glory and so many times uh, um, I look in my nation I look in the na I look in the nation look into my own country praise God we are the enemy had uh, created these things to bleach out people face oh glory and you feel if you don't bleach out yourself and have on you these ble bleach out your face white and your hands uh, and feet black praise be to God you feel that you are not glorified you feel that you don't respectable you feel that you are no good praise be to God but when God glorify he said he meek hallelujah shall inherit the her hallelujah say so said he shall beautify the meek with salvation so your beauty within and without shall be the salvation of God beautify you don't have to use natural thing to beautify yourself look at me how beautiful person I am praise God and if you don't look on yourself and make much of yourself and say you are beautiful and wait for somebody to tell you my dear you will be behind hallelujah you just have to glorify God and give him God the praise hallelujah because he, he said when he makes us he he see that we it was good for make us praise God to making us praise God so the Bible said in Romans 8 verse 19 for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the son of god so we that are called by the name of jesus christ we cannot fight any warfare by ourselves we got to wait for the manifestation of the holy spirit once god manifests in your body you have no need to fear you have no need to panic you you just stand still and see the salvation of god because when you stand still and see the salvation of god you shall be rewarded hallelujah praise god for the creature was made man subject to vanity for willingly but by reason of him who had subject the same in hope praise god so those that are called by the name of jesus christ they always have hope hope let not you ashamed you get up this morning and you're you you have a desire but if you don't see it you still have hope and then you still have patience and you wait on God praise God because God is not a man that he should lie he he will not say he's going to do something and don't do it you see the beauty of Jake um, Job you see the beauty of David you see the beauty of all those prophets that he has called and they cause they wait upon God God Job said I will wait until my change come 21 verse because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into a glorious liberty of the children of God. So whatsoever bondage that the enemy would like to put upon us today, whichever by any form of, of signature, 
our statues, praise God, our symbol, whatsoever, whatsoever the devil planned to, to use to subdue God people today. Hallelujah. The Bible said, because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bandage of corruption. Praise God. So whatsoever corruption the enemy have to corrupt God people, to inject in God people, to give God people, the Bible said, praise God, the corruption unto the, God is going to transform your body into a glorious body. Liberty of the children of God. God is there. He know how to work. Somebody is saying, no, God is not doing these things. But God will allow man, when people turn away from God, when people take their own stand, when people forget that there is a God, God will use people. God will use human experiment. God will use it. God will allow that person to do it. And that person who do it feel that he is in charge. He feels so powerful. But God is using you to carry out Satan, Satan plot and Satan trick. And when God see, hallelujah, that you are gone home to Satan, God will say, yes, that's enough. And he will put a stop into you. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. So don't think you are get away. Praise God. With what you are, your invention and what you are doing. Don't think you're getting away. Praise God. And I know somebody, when this word go out today, I know somebody in high places, hallelujah, will understand, hallelujah, what I am saying to you. Praise be to God. You will know that the scripture judge you. And hallelujah, you will be judged. You will be in tormentation. You will be in weeping. You will be in mourning. Hallelujah. Today, if you don't change your ways, praise God. Hallelujah. For we know that the whole creation groan in travail, in pain together until now. Come on. We know. I don't know if you know because you don't study Bible and you don't know the word of God that the whole, the whole, the whole world Praise God. The whole creation, the whole creation that was created, planet Earth, grown. It has been grown from Genesis to Revelation. It has been grown from decade to a decade when generation die off and we are the generation that God chose to put his glory and to put his crown in. And now it is groaning. And the Bible says, Meanwhile, it is growing like a pregnant woman, pregnant for nine months. But when the time has come for that bird to born, that baby to born, boy or girl, it is going to born. Travail it in pain together until now. So there's a pain that going on through the nation. Hallelujah. There's a pain that growing, crying. You can lift up your hear, your ears, and you hear it all around. Praise God. And God had make, hallelujah, internet. Praise be to God. And all kind of uh, connection is going on right now that we could can hear our voice in our, the, the voices in our bedroom. We can hear it on our veranda. We can hear the groaning, hallelujah, in the, in the, in, in, in the atmosphere together. It's a togetherness. But we don't know that these words are in the scripture because we take the word of God for, for foolishness. But the 23rd verse of Romans 8 is saying, and not only they, but we ourselves also, which have the first fruit of the spirit, even we ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to with the redemption of the body. God is wanting, God is coming back to redeem his people. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. In the book of Esther, when one should redeem back a nation, they would pass shoes from shoes to redeem. But the blood of Jesus Christ is going to redeem his people. It is not by sorcerers. It's not going to be rich crop. It is not being by false prophet. It is not being by the amount of money you have in the bank. It is not going to be your color, either your white or black. But God is going to redeem his people because one day go on the cross and die for you and I and he will come back to redeem him. He said, for we are, for we say by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man says, why do he hope for? 
Praise God. But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience waiting. Waiting. We are waiting to see the manifestation of Jesus Christ. When he shall appear, when he shall separate the goat from the sheep, and the sheep would be on one side and the goat on one side. And I will hear the good Lord said, Departed from me, I know you not into the lake of fire that prepare for the devils and his angel. Where shall your precious soul be? Where shall your riches that you, you the Bible tell you about your mother eat corrupt? Where shall you take them? You shall spend days and nights if you don't repent. Nation, repent. Nation, repent. 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 I am pleading for you to repent. The judgment is true. As God made night and day, it is true. This hurt is not our home. We are just on it to, to use what is it to glorify ourselves. Let us repent at this time by the Holy Ghost and give God the glory. Call back our nation and the prayer and fasting. Call back anything that we are doing, we must call the prayer and fasting. Right now, of my country, um, Jamaica land we love, is open back for tourists, praise be to God. I wonder if the minister of, of, of tourism Call a prayer at the airport. Call a prayer in the different <laughs> sector. I wonder here, um, um, mass is giving out. Praise God. I hear mass is giving out and all kind of plan making. I wonder if the minister of tourism and our prime minister and those that are in high places call back the prayer that I've been talking from March 15 till now. There's supposed to be a solemn get together with prayer and fasting and put God first. Hallelujah. In everything that we do. Hallelujah. That's why our national anthem and our national pledge was was signify the righteousness of the land jamaica land we love today call for a sudden fasting in our police station in our soldier camp in all places at school opening everything prior must be done in it so that god will please we have wandered away from him too long and now he's not going to come down to beg us because he said every knee hallelujah shall bow and every tongue confess that he is Lord. He's not going to come down to beg us. But I'm glad he takes somebody from in, in your own country. From 92 till now in the sun hut. I was so black. And it's just because I am not in the sun hut as how I used to be there. Why I have this little cool look. But I'm, it's not going to go in vain. I'm calling upon my country. Go back in prayer. Go back in fasting, go back and let the people let out by example. My prime minister once said one day when he called, when a prime minister called for prayer in the nation, it's it's a significant, it's bear a significant symbol. I am listening to hear that shouting of echoing. Praise God. That whatsoever nation in the midst of us, Chinese, Indian, white, hallelujah, what creed, they shall know that Jamaica will be under God, increase in beauty, in wealth amongst the common race. Amongst all people will know. To my African brother and sister in Africa, I have seen God moving you up, God lifting you up, and God is giving you some understanding. Hallelujah. It is time for us to rise up and take our stand. Hallelujah. Let them know it's not the color of our skin, but it's the wisdom of the Almighty God. A earthly people with heavenly story to tell to the nation. And except we repent today and turn, Hallelujah. Don't look at the skin color. Don't look at the education background. Look at what does said the Lord in Jesus' name. Praise God.